The short term trial is a, an investigator driven trial which was funded by the Italian Drug Agency with aim to explore if a shorter duration of trastuzumab administration for the adjuvant treatment of uh, ER2 positive early breast cancer patients could produce uh, comparable efficacy with lower toxicities and certainly lower costs uh, in comparison to the standard one year duration of trastuzumab. So uh, more than 1,250 patients were entered into the trial from 82 Italian hospitals. These patients had uh, stage, uh, had a not negative disease in about 53% of the cases, 47% of the patients had uh, not positivity, and among these there were uh, about 15% of the patients with four or more positive lymph nodes. The vast majority of the patients had a normal receptor positive disease, 68% of the entire patient population. So the two uh, treatment arms were a standard arm consisting of eight courses of chemotherapy, four courses of an anthracycline cyclophosphamide, followed by four courses of docetaxel, plus trastuzumab, starting concomitantly with the first course of docetaxel and given free weekly for 18 doses up to one year. The experimental arm consisted of three courses of docetaxel followed by three courses of FEC with a trastuzumab starting at a weekly dose with the first administration of docetaxel and given for nine weekly doses only. So, uh, it's a one year trastuzumab versus uh, uh, nine weeks or more or less two months of uh, trastuzumab. So big difference in terms of uh, total amount of trastuzumab and also differences uh, in uh, total amount of chemotherapy because there were eight courses of a long treatment arm, uh, six in a short. There are also lower doses of uh, epirubicin in the short in comparison to the long treatment arm. Then, of course, all the patients with hormone receptor positive disease received uh, endocrine therapy for five years. The primary endpoint of the study was the disease-free survival, and overall survival was the co-primary endpoint. This is a non-inferiority trial, and we planned two types of analysis to demonstrate non-inferiority. One is the classic frequentist analysis, but then we also planned the Bayesian analysis. Differently from the frequentist analysis, the Bayesian analysis is based on the observed data and allows to estimate on the basis of observed data, which is the probability that the short or experimental treatment is not inferior to the long one. The statistical assumption was that the short had to be considered not inferior if as a ratio in comparison to long was less than 1.29. At a median follow-up of 5.2 years, we observed 189 events, 89 in the long treatment arm, 100 in the short arm. The as a ratio is 1.15, so below the limits of non-inferiority. Uh, however, the upper margin of a 90% confidence limit crosses the 1.29 boundary for non-inferiority. So from uh, the frequentist analysis, we cannot claim non-inferiority. But by doing the pre-planned Bayesian analysis, uh, the probability that the short treatment is not inferior to the long one is 78%. We have moreover done a pre-planned subgroup analysis and we found that there were two subgroups, patients with stage 3 disease or patients with four or more positive lymph nodes and these patients represent around 15% of the entire patient population, had a significant difference in disease 3 in favor of a long treatment arm. So essentially, the small difference between short and long is completely attributable to the 15% of the patients with four or more lymph nodes or stage 3 disease. Again, in 85% of the patients, there were uh, no difference at all. 
another important uh, uh, outcome of the study was the cardiac safety, which was a secondary endpoint of the study. And in terms of cardiac safety, we have seen a significant difference in the decline of a left ventricular ejection fraction in favor of a short treatment arm, compared to the long one, with a p-value of 0 0.02. Also, the numbers of cardiac events of grade 2 or more and time to incidence of cardiac event were uh, uh, in favor of a short treatment R with an SOH of 0 0.3 and a p-value of, of uh, less than 0 0.0001. So, uh, the, uh, our conclusions are that uh, the short uh, hair trial has shown that uh, nine weeks of trastuzumab versus one year trastuzumab uh, produces an hazard ratio of 1.15, which is within the margin of non-inferiority. However, because the upper limit of a non-inferiority crosses the 1.29 boundaries for non-inferiority, on the basis of a frequentist analysis, we cannot claim non-inferiority. However, again, the Bayesian analysis allows us to say that the probability that the short is not inferior to long is 78 percent. Moreover, subgroups analysis suggests that uh, uh, the, the difference between the two treatment arm is uh, null for patients with not negative or up to three positive lymph nodes, while there is a benefit in favor of a long treatment for those patients with four or more positive lymph nodes. Short treatment is significantly more tolerable from a cardiac point of view with a significant reduction of the number and time of uh, cardiac events. We do uh, acknowledge that one year trastuzumab should still be considered a standard treatment. However, the data from the short hair trial provide useful information to clinicians because uh, uh, it can reassure the clinicians that if a patient has to stop trastuzumab because of the occurrence of cardiac uh, 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 event, it, it can be done without compromising the efficacy of the treatment. Then we can also now start the treatment with trastuzumab even to those patients at risk of cardiac toxicity, patients with uh, pre-existing cardiac morbidities. Uh, and finally, and this is not uh, a negligible point, uh, it might expand the access to trastuzumab in countries where, because of financial problems, the cost of the treatment cannot be afforded by most of the patients. Well, could it not also be read that, you know, for patients with less than four positive nodes, a shorter course would be an option, if you said that was what was pushing Certainly. it over. As I said, we, 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 we have to recognize, because this is the proof dose, the Strastudo and this is the standard. However, if I have a patient with a very low risk of relapse, and nowadays we treat patients with one year Strastudo, with very small tumor, with not negative disease, for these patients we might consider the use of uh, only nine weeks uh, Strastudo, which is equally effective and less toxic. Or are there any plans for a further trial of, say, 12 weeks of trastuzumab to find what is the threshold to reaching non-inferiority? Yeah, you know, uh, as you can imagine, it's not easy to run this kind of trials because uh, we have to, uh, to get funded by uh, public agencies. There is no interest from uh, pharma companies to support this kind of trial. Moreover, non-inferiority trials are, are, are not so popular. So it would be very difficult to repeat another study to see if you can, by prolonging by maybe a few more weeks or a few more months, uh, the duration of the treatment, you can really equalize, equalize the, treat, the efficacy of the therapies one year versus something less. What we can say is that there are other trials comparing different durations of trust to administration. There has been a French trial which has already been published comparing six months versus one year. There will be another uh, a British trial which has completed recruitment and uh, is not yet being uh, presented. Again comparing six months versus one year. 
in another uh, Finnish trial as uh, compared nine weeks versus one year. We are planning all together to have an individual patient meta-analysis of all of all these trials in order to reinforce the concept that there are groups of patients who deserve a shorter treatment with less toxicities and certainly less costs. I wonder if there might be funding available for say nine or ten weeks of a trastuzumab biosimilar. Yeah, that is also a possibility of course. We have now uh, biosimilars coming out. They have a very similar efficacy in comparison to the, uh, the patent drug. That might be a good idea to see whether uh, company producing uh, biosimilars might be interested to explore uh, shorter duration, which of course would be far less expensive.